Hey guys, Brick Queen here with a Lego Batman movie set to review for you guys. It is set number 70900, The Joker Balloon Escape. It has 124 pieces and two awesome minifigures. Uh, the set cost about $15, which is probably a little bit too much for this, but let's go ahead and check it out anyway. But first, let's build it. So here is everything that you get in this set, which I think this is the smallest set to come out for Lego Batman movie, excluding poly bags, of course. Uh, but I think this is a really good set um, for the size it is. You get two of the main characters. It's kind of a cool, cute little set in a way. Um, anyway, so we do have, you know, the whole, the whole point of the set is the Joker's escape, and he's got this little balloon contraption <laughs> that he kind of rides out on and this is this is straight out of the movie um which i think is great i like it whenever they uh they kind of keep it um true to you know what was in the movie rather than just making stuff up afterwards anyway um i think this is kind of cool it's got the the different balloons on there and if you have seen this part in the movie you know that it's hilarious um if you haven't I really don't want to spoil anything for you guys. Um, I will just recommend that you watch it and uh, especially watch this part in the movie. Y you won't be able to miss it. You'll definitely see when Joker is riding away on this little balloon thing. Um, kind of like a, a balloon uh, jet pack almost. Um, so here's the back of it. And you can kind of let it set down on this, but you kind of have to either fold his little coattails or do something like that. Um, but anyway, let me remove this from him for a moment. Um, it even has handles so you can make him hold it if you want to. I didn't have him actually attached to the handles because he attaches on the back part too, which actually this, there's two clear pieces here. One is supposed to be attached to that, it just came off. So. He can also just attach like that, and you don't necessarily have to use the handles, but it, I guess it kind of looks cooler if you do. But anyway, um, let me kind of adjust this back. Well, that's probably not going to stand. Anyway, so here is the Joker minifigure that we get uh, in this little set. I think it is really cute. I like uh, the suit jacket especially. Um, with the really long coattails like this. I think it's cool. Um, and it just kind of has the, the, it goes in at the waist basically. It's not the full length jacket or anything, but you have these super long coattails for him, which I guess technically you could take off and use on um, most versions of the Joker because he, he often wears a purple jacket. Um, it changes sometimes, but anyway, um, there's that. Uh, and he does have a double-sided face, which I think is great. Um, and what do you guys think about this uh, this version of Joker in general? Like, this hair piece and everything. Um, it's very different <laughs> than we have seen uh, previous Lego Jokers. What do you guys think about this one? And do you want me to do a full Joker minifigure collection? I, I'll have to check but I think I have every version. 
Um, uh, I'll double check before I do the video, but let me know in the comments if you guys even want to see that before I start uh, working on it. Let me know, do you want to see a Joker minifigure collection? Um, if you do, I will try to do that for you guys. Um, anyway, so that is the Joker that we get in this one. And, of course, we have to have Batman. This is the Batman that we get. And I'm going to remove his cowl. And he also has a double-sided face. And there's a little bit of back printing, nothing fancy. Um, nothing you haven't seen before if you uh, haven't seen um, lots of Batman minifigures. And he has a grapple hook gun that he comes with in this one. Of course, it doesn't actually shoot the grapple hook. Um, one day, I'm sure they will uh, design it to where it does, uh, but at the moment, it does not, sadly. Um, I don't think it would actually be that hard to use, like, the stud shooter gun to design a grapple hook one. Um, they'll probably do it eventually, but anyway, just throwing that out there. They'll probably do that. Um, also, he does, of course, have his utility belt here. Um, this is the new utility belt that they have created. It's a separate piece. Actually, let me let me take it away from Batman for a minute. You can see what he looks like without it. <laughs> it kind of looks weird with Batman not having his belt there. Anyway, um, this is the belt piece here. And it does have two different sides, basically. So, because they actually, they use the same piece for Catwoman, and they turn it to this side and make it a different color for her. So that's kind of cool that you can use it like that. Um, but anyway, so the other main portion of the set is this little uh, explosive part that's got the bomb here. And there's a little computer screen there. Um, there's... I think there were only two stickers in this little set, so not bad at all. Uh, the computer screen is a sticker, and this symbol right here is a sticker. Um, but that's it. I mean, that's really not bad. If you don't like stickers, that is no big deal. Just putting two on, no problem. Um, I love the little bomb there. I think it's designed cool with the little clock. Um, and you can actually kind of turn this uh, clock part if you want to, kind of like it kind of looks like an alarm clock, so it kind of, you can move it back and forth like it's ringing like an alarm clock. Of course, you wouldn't want to see that ringing because that means it's about to go off. But anyway, um, over here on this side, we have kind of this little silo thing here. I know with my white background, it kind of blends in. <laughs> now you can see the silo a little bit more clearly. Um, so there is an exploding feature here, and basically, you just push this down. That's it. Um, you guys know that it works pretty simple. And it just explodes off like that. Um, it's in two halves like this. And let's see, they just attach onto there like that. And when you push that, it launches them off like it's exploding. Um, so anyway, that is the whole set. I can reach this one again. I'll put this back together. <laughs> Now that you have seen everything in this set, uh, tell me your thoughts about it in the comments below. I'm trying to get, him to get this to stand up. <laughs> anyway, um, just let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know um, if there's any minifigure collections or uh, other sets you want to see. Just let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys later. Click here to subscribe and turn on your notifications. Or click here to see another one of our videos you might like.